All right, on to our weekly feature, Citizen Planet and Wetlands are important ecosystems that provide a variety of benefits to the environment and the people. However, they have been declining at an alarming rate in the country, and this is due to human activities like development, demand for land for agriculture, and of course, pollution. Communities in the coastal region of Lamu and Tana River counties are at the forefront of the restoration of the degraded Tana Delta, the second most important river mouth wetland in East Africa. Well, Emily Jabet reports on efforts by the residents led by Nature Kenya in the two counties to bring back its glory. It is January. The sun is coaching. The Tana Delta, one of the biggest wetlands in the country. Internationally, it is critical and even been declared a Ramsar site. This, however, has not spared it from the unforgiving high temperatures. Human activities along the Indian Ocean in Tana River County and Lamo County has led to degradation of the Tana Delta. At the heart of Witu village in Lamo County lies a community trying to breathe new life into the dying wetland. They believe they can bring their own Garden of Eden and have something to pass on to their future generations. Lamek Kibet, one of the founders of Back to Eden Biodiversity Conservation, recalls his childhood, times when this village was beautiful, full of indigenous trees with edible fruits that had medicinal value. <laughs> tumeanza kuinuka tulikuwa katika ukiangalia kuna miti mikubwa mikubwa hapa eneo ina maana ya kwamba hii eneo ilikuwa na msitu mkubwa tena eneo ambao ilikuwa na maandali najua msitu kiu umesikana tena ni mkubwa miti mikubwa huwa mbali na wanadamu mbali na wanyama hata kuna viumbe vingine utegemea ile msi sasa hapa kulikuwa na maandali mazuri aina nyingi ndege ni vitu vingi vilikuwa Due to human activities like development and charcoal burning, the forest has been affected largely. The danger of losing some very important indigenous trees is a reality that Lamek and his team are alive too. And that has brought them together to craft a new way of living. Restoration process begins from the collection of indigenous seeds and later growing them as well as selling access to other community forest associations in Tana River and Lamu counties. A journey to restoration of biodiversity starts with an individual, to a family, to a dedicated community that is ready to collect these indigenous trees that are at risk of extinction. We are going to go to the same place, as we can see here, we are going to go to the same place, we are going to go to the same place, and we are going to go to the same place. Tana Delta, like other wetlands in the country, are like arteries in our bodies that supply blood and give us life. Wetlands receive water and store it for release through recharge of rivers. It also stores carbon, regulates floods, and controls soil erosion. <laughs> Community forest associations in Kipini and Ozi areas in Tana River County, supported by Nature Kenya, are reclaiming the lost forests. Mimi mwenyewe nilipofungua macho kwa sababu kwa kuzaliwa nimezaliwa 1952. Nilipomachua kwenda primary school. Hii nchi ilikuwa haikosi mvua. Hii nchi yetu ya kipini ilikuwa haikosi mvua mavuno ni miaka yote. Paka nakumbuka rais wa sasa mheshimiwa Ruto alipokuwa ma, ma, alipokuwa waziri wa ukulima waziri wa agriculture alikuja akapeana hapa mahali kunaitwa Shauri Moyo Zawadi kwa ukulima lakini saa hii mambo imebadilika mama ile jua that is where everybody rushes their livestock uh, to get uh, pasture because it's the last place that um, drought bites but also from other counties we have an influx of uh, of animals coming into the delta 
and that is not good for us because now we are talking about overgrazing. One of the key threats which has threatened Tetana itself is the fact that uh, it has not had any recognition nationally. At least now the communities have accepted to take leadership. It's not about guns protecting the area, but communities protecting. Kule kuharibiwa kwa miti ndio kumeharibika kwa inchi. Na sasa hii tunaregesha miti, tumeona dalili tayari sasa hii ya mvua kunyesha na hata sasa hii mashambani watu wanapata chakula vizuri. Na ndio tumetia nguvu na kuweza pia kueneza huu ujumbe watu waregeshe miti. The communities here have volunteered security to ensure that trees they plant grow and the remaining forested area is protected. From 2021 up to now, we've done about uh, 12 tons of seed. Our target was to restore 10,000 hectares. Uh, we have restored 8,500 hectares. Every time we restore, we track our progress. So communities have been given phones and they we capture the status and we upload that on our uh, geo database. So we are tracking our restoration and we hope by next year it will have done our 10,000 hectares, which is a project target. Here is the Tunayoiona ni kama Amana. Tumepichiwa na mababu zetu ndio sisi tunarithi saa hii. Kwa hivyo na sisi tuna jukumu ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba tumeilinda wajukuu wetu nao pia waweze kuona hii rasilimali. The residents are calling on both the county and the national governments to support all conservation efforts in order to achieve the president's ambitious 15 billion trees plan by 2030. Ni wakati muafaka umefika. E, kina mama wajifunge vibwebwe na wanaume tupige msambanyo ili kuweza kukabiliana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi The Tana Delta being the Ramsar site the community's efforts in the restoration of the biodiversity here in Tana River County cannot be overlooked Emily Chebet Citizen TV Kipini Beach in Tana River County